Today we're going to show you how to mount a rod system using a rod gripper and turnbuckle. This is a means of holding up graphic panels and sometimes shelving. Uh, in this case we've mounted the gripper and the turnbuckle without the mounting plates but you'll see these are also available in our catalog as assemblies which include a mounting plate. Gives it a little bit different look but the setup is about the same. So let's get started. Your easy turnbuckle will come assembled for shipping, but you'll need to take it apart before installation. You'll start by removing these set screws. Some turnbuckles have one and some have two. Take a 3 seconds Allen wrench and remove those. Careful not to lose them, they are small and can run away from you. Now we'll want to remove the turnbuckle mount. Sometimes this can stick and I'll show you a tip for that in just a moment. Remove that. and inside there will be the parts for assembly. Okay, if you find you can't remove the TMS, the threaded mounting stud, with your thumb, then you can cheat it out using any bolt and nut. We'll just run that up inside there. A few threads is all it takes. Spin that nut up, hold on to it, Tighten it against the TMS, and it will back right out. And there we go. Okay, now we're going to install the TMS to our surface. We've got our pilot hole drilled, and in this case, we'll use this number 12 screw to mount it down. Do the same for the top, and thread on the upper mount. This TMS is what the turnbuckle body will thread onto later in this video. But first, I'm going to show you how to attach a rod terminator for a heavy connection. So when you get this jig, notice that the hole goes all the way through. So you're going to want to drill on a scrap piece of lumber. Notice that one end is flat to prevent it from rolling on you. Hold it in place, grab your drill motor with a 3 seconds bit, and drill all the way through. Now we have a hole that goes through for a roll pin. Take the turnbuckle body and slide it on. Then we're going to take this collar and line these two holes up. This is where the pin comes in. Get a block of wood again because we're going to have to strike this. This is a very strong connection. So as for determining your rod cut length, uh, the easiest way is to install your top and bottom mounts as we've done here and then measure from the face of one down to the other. Then we'll do our takeoffs. So here we've got a rod gripper at the top. These have a hole in them so we need to add to them. So for both the 3 8 and the quarter inch rod, we'll go ahead and add 9 sixteenths of an inch to your measurement. Now at the bottom, with the turnbuckle mounts, they're different for the quarter inch rod from the 3 8 inch rod. The turnbuckles are a little different sizes and shapes. We we'll need to take off from our measurement or subtract from it for these mounts. For the quarter inch rod, we'll subtract an eighth of an inch. And for the 3 8 easy rod 375, we'll need to take off 9 sixteenths of an inch from our measurement. So that's the basics of it, but if you run into any trouble with any of these measurements or need any help with determining them, feel free to give us a call at any time. We'll be glad to give you a hand with it. And by the way, these rods are made of aluminum, which is fairly easy to cut. So a chop saw will cut them, but you can also do it with a miter box and a hacksaw to get a nice clean cut. Before you connect your rod to the upper and lower mounts, be sure to slide your grippers on and with the set screws facing away from view if possible. Of course, be sure to have the correct number of grippers on before buttoning the system up. To keep your grippers out of the way, just barely touch the set screw to the rod to hold them. They are designed to dig into the rod, so be careful not to use too much pressure until you're ready to adjust and fully tighten them. Place the upper rod and with this upper set screw mount, we're going to need to really torque this one down. 
Now, thread the turnbuckle body down onto the TMS. And be careful not to cross-thread these. If it's not going in, check to make sure everything is plumb and the TMS has been anchored straight. You may need to loosen the screw holding the TMS just a bit and readjust. The last step is to tighten these set screws on the turnbuckle body to lock it all in. Like that. Now move on to placing your grippers into position for shelving or graphics. So there you have it, a rod system installed. If you find yourself in a bind during any of these steps, feel free to give us a call. We'll be glad to help you through anything we can. Thanks for watching.